One company owns 7,600 single-family rental properties right here in the greater Phoenix market. We'll talk with the CEO of that company today to find out more about his firm's future plans for Arizona, coming up right now on the Arizona Report. Welcome. My name is David Meek, licensed Arizona real estate broker and realtor in the Metro Phoenix area, host and writer of the uh, Arizona Report. Invitation Homes is one of the largest operators of single-family rental properties in the nation. It owns and leases over 80,000 single-family homes across 17 markets in the United States. The company is traded on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol INVH, and about 10% of Invitation's portfolio is located right here in the Valley of the Sun. My guest today is the co-founder, president, and CEO of Invitation Homes, Dallas Tanner. Mr. Tanner purchased his first investment property in college, then co-founded Invitation Homes in 2012. The company grew and later merged with Starwood Waypoint Homes in 2017. Private equity firm Blackstone took Invitation Homes public in 2017 and recently sold off over $1 billion in shares. Blackstone, as of today, still retains a 20% stake in the company. Invitation Homes is a firm with a large footprint in the Phoenix residential real estate market, and I've been curious about their plans for the future here. Dallas Tanner, welcome to the Arizona Report. Thanks, David. I appreciate you having me. I appreciate uh, your time and, and wanted to talk about the company. How did you... Well, starting from the beginning, how did you identify this role for Invitation Homes to provide a different choice for housing to consumers? What was the genesis there? Yeah, I think, you know, the genesis of Invitation Homes is, is a very unique uh, Phoenix-specific story. Um, ah. As we started, uh, two partners and I started a company back in 2005 called Treehouse Communities okay. in Phoenix, Arizona. And that company focused primarily on manufactured housing and, and workforce housing opportunities. We got our fingers into a lot of different residential opportunities. And with the housing downturn in 2008, 9, and 10, uh, nobody was investing in single family rental. And if you, you, know, if you take a step back, you know, there's always been between 12 and 15 million people in the U.S. leasing a single family detached home in some way, shape, or form. Um, and so Phoenix was no different than any other market. But what we saw you know, early through kind of the down cycle of housing in Phoenix, as you know, David, one of the markets that, that was impacted the worst. Yes, hit, we in were terms hit of very hard here. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry? We Yes, we were hit very hard here. And what part of that dynamic is uh, Maricopa County, where Phoenix is, is one of the largest second, uh, second home markets in the nation. So uh, we were one of the biggest and hardest to fall when the housing market collapsed. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And so we, we had bought about a thousand single family rentals with uh, investor partners of ours prior to the formation of Invitation Homes only in the Phoenix market. And so Phoenix for us is home. Uh, you know, I'm a fifth generation uh, Phoenician. Uh, my family's been there forever. Excellent. And we Excellent. just, we knew the market really well. Yeah, we love, we, you know, Phoenix is home. And so Great. our headquarters are in Dallas and I'm currently living in Dallas, Texas for Invitation Homes. But basically, as we got into the business, companies like Blackstone were trying to figure out if there was an opportunity to build a real professionally managed institutional business around single family rental, much like you've seen happen in the apartment business in the 80s and 90s. Yes. And so for us, we knew that that was a, a very capable opportunity. And that was really the thesis for starting Invitation Homes. And, and we had an excellent partner um, on the private side in Blackstone. And they agreed with the same vision that we had, which was if you could build up scale in markets that mattered, you could provide the types of services that customers wanted outside of just, you know, a mom and pop landlord experience. And so for us, our focus from day one, when we bought our first homes in April of 2012 with Blackstone, was to build a best in quality company, one that could focus on the customer experience first and foremost but we would drive some of those efficiencies through scale. Wonderful. And you're exactly right. That Phoenix was the, 
the launch point for our business. And that's uh, that makes a lot of sense. Are are you looking to is Invitation looking to continue to grow your footprint here? Are you kind of holding, or maybe have plans to divest in the future? That's, it's a great question. We definitely are are long term holders of of properties in our portfolio, and it's okay. we you know when you say seventy five or seventy six hundred homes in a market like Phoenix, you know somebody goes, oh my gosh, how on earth could anyone or one company have that many homes? But as you take a step back, our our company, for example, uh, today owns about eighty thousand properties across right. seventeen cities, as you said in the beginning of the call. We represent our company less than one half of one percent of the overall single family rental population, and we're the biggest in the country, right? Yes. So at the end of the day, we are really a really small blip on the screen in terms of how big the marketplace is for this product. So we certainly um, expect and look forward to the opportunity to grow our, our market footprints. Uh, Atlanta is a great example of that for us where today, and it's a similar size market to Phoenix, we have 12,500 homes in Atlanta. And, and that market's an excellent market just like Phoenix, and there's still room for growth. And we are still just a very small you know, part of a percentage of the overall housing uh, experience for that market. So and I, believe- I think as long as we can continue to find compelling opportunities, we'll want to keep growing. That makes sense. And I believe most of your markets, uh, I look at your map, uh, most of your markets are in the south and the west. Is that right? You know, it, it, we're, we're pretty um, evenly uh, balanced. We, we call them the smile markets. We're basically coastal, west coast, southwest, southeast. Sure. Um, today we've got uh, 70 to almost 70% of our revenue coming out of the west coast of Florida. I see. And, and you're absolutely right that the southwest is a big hub for us. Absolutely. But we're in you know, markets like Texas, and we have a big big presence in Florida today. We have over 25,000 homes in Florida. Gosh. Gosh. And, you know, Phoenix, I, I did some quick math on a calculator before uh, we connected this morning, and uh, about 10% of the portfolio is here in Phoenix. But Sounds like you certainly have uh, larger markets and you're you're growing and expanding. Uh, Dallas, tell me what kinds of of homes when when you are looking to purchase in Phoenix, what kinds of homes are ideal for acquisition? Well, we our philosophy as a company is always to be really stingy about being in the right locations. And in Phoenix, for example, market that, that we all know and you know very well, you know we really want to be infill. So generally speaking, you want to see us you know, kind of inside of, you know, the 101s and the 202 freeways, generally speaking. You yes. Know, we love, you know, Chandler, Tempe, Mesa, Peoria, uh, Glendale, you know, those types of markets where it's pretty easy to get to tra- major transportation corridors, and we generally really want to focus on making sure we're in, in proper school districts. Yes. You know, one of the benefits for us as a business is that we can provide a housing experience for folks that otherwise might not be able to afford the down payment, but they want to live in certain neighborhoods that have access to some of those, you know, amenities and schools that I'm, that I, that I mentioned. And so we continue to be pretty specific and, and you'll probably from an asset quality perspective, see us buy generally three bedroom, two bath home minimums. That's bedroom, usually standard bath. for our process, for our product. And on your website, you've, you've got a lot of, uh, it seems like the 15, 16, 17, 1800 square foot properties are really your, your bread and butter. Is that about right? Yeah, generally speaking, uh, what we find is for our customer, they really fall into three buckets generally. You have customers that need, are in some sort of a transitional state, and they're looking for something for a couple of years, and maybe they don't want too big a size or too small a size. We have customers that, out of necessity, want to be in that area and can't afford to own. Or we have customers that are preferential, meaning they could own, but they want to lease. And so generally that kind of 1,700 to 2,500 square foot home Okay. It typically fits the bill in terms of what our customers are looking for. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Dallas, there was some, as you know, some critical coverage uh, in the uh, news here in Phoenix last year uh, about some property management delays with Invitation Homes. This was uh, August of 2018. What has Invitation Homes uh, done to address those concerns and what's different uh, moving forward? Yeah. You know, I think in our business, what's interesting is 99% of the time we get it absolutely right. Um, and then 1% of the time across 80,000 homes, you could you can have some challenges. And I think for us, we're continually committed to making sure that we provide an outstanding service to the residents. First, because it's the right thing to do, and it's part of our core values. And second, because it's also in the best interest of our business. And so we're constantly looking for ways to improve a single family experience for people. Um, 
we're, you know, we've done a lot of things. We survey, you wouldn't believe the amount of surveys we do as a business. Um, in 2018, I think we had over 40,000 surveys and we'll survey every time there's a work order, times we're moving people, moving, moving them in and out. And, and it's, it's, you know, obviously not obligatory. We just ask for that feedback and we're consistently, you know, scoring on a, on a rating of one to five or averaging like a 4.3. Um, and we'd love to get it a bit higher. We'd like to see that get into the high fours. But it's a focus for us, and the feedback loop is really important. In property management, I think the challenging part of our business is always that we're dealing with a very emotional part of people's lives, housing. And I don't know about you, David, but for me, when something goes wrong in my house, it's very frustrating. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, dealing with that I right now at it. my home. So, uh, yeah, it's so uh, a leaky you, roof, you and it's, uh, it's a crisis <laughs> moment. Yeah, yeah. It totally is. And so we developed a program called ProCare where we're in the home uh, 45 days after moving and then in the home regardless of whether there's ever an issue every six months. And so those are some of the corrective actions and, and programs we put in place that we think will help mitigate, uh, you know, some of the challenges involved okay. with property management. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, what is uh, Invitation's current business focus uh, now that you've completed the merger activities? I think the merger activities wrapped up in uh, Q1 of this year. Uh, with Star Star uh, Starwood Waypoint, is that right? Well, specifically in terms of, are you talking about just how we've integrated through that process? We're finished with the merger and integration, so okay. we went from fifty thousand homes to eighty thousand homes, and that was a heck of a process in terms of bringing two companies together with yes. both processes and different types of real estate. Um, we'll continue to fine tune and and look for areas on the margin where we can continue to improve, and that's really ordinary course for us with this business, but definitely um a better business uh because of the merger for sure excellent and those those sound like good good growth opportunities and uh phoenix will you know all the uh all the arrows are pointing uh, up and green for uh, the phoenix market in terms of uh, growth over the next five to ten years so well great phoenix is such a an awesome market absolutely it's a lot of uh, a lot of growth in the future. Uh, Dallas Tanner, thank you very much for joining us on the uh, Arizona Report. Uh, if you've got anything uh, in the future to, to share, we'd, we'd love to have you back and uh, be a guest on a future episode. Thanks for having me on. Happy to keep you guys updated with what we're seeing in the space and most importantly with our company. So Excellent. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is David Meek. Uh, editor at the Arizona Report and Arizona licensed real estate broker. Uh, if you'd like to see my thoughts on the Phoenix real estate market, check out my website at ArizonaReport.com, or you can reach me here in the studio at 480-999-MOVE. That's 480-999-6683. Thank you for joining us for this episode of uh, the Arizona Report with Dallas Tanner of Invitation Homes. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.